All right, in this video, part 10 to KOWP for beginners. And in this video, we're going to work on a music player. Uh, before we jump into that real quick, let me show you one thing that I have done uh, to this wallpaper we've been working on. Uh, I don't even know if you'll be able to notice it, but if I slide, you know, here's page one, here's page two. Um, what you're noticing now is the things that are fading out. In an earlier video, I had like this clock down here when I scroll over to have my weather slide down, the clock just fades out instead of it sliding down further. Um, I do want to address that real quick before I move on, um, just to kind of help you troubleshoot your animation issues. The way I had it set up before, let me scroll again. Notice when the clock goes up, both of these pieces are fading out, whereas if I scroll this way, um, the clock fades out, but it's not scrolling anymore. And basically what I've done here is this. For example, the date and time, that's this group right here. Under animation, I didn't change too much except for the scroll. And basically, I want this thing to scroll up to the center. Um, my center is screen two. And notice, okay, here's screen one. It's scrolling up to the center, but it won't scroll anymore after. Since I have it, choose since I have chosen up to center included, it's only going to scroll up to the center. It's going to include the center, but however, notice it's not scrolling anymore now because notice it's fading out. And the reason why it's fading out is because I've applied that second animation. But I did that. It gives it a little bit cleaner look. You know, it's it's scrolling here, then it just fades out. Whereas the weather one, you know, it scrolls from three to two and then it fades out from two to one. And what I did there with the weather piece is I just animation scroll and I did from center. So basically from the center, including the center, it's going to scroll, but um, when not anything before center or up to center. So that's some of those settings you can mess around with right there. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get to the uh, big deal of this video, making a music player. Um, what I want to do here is basically I'm going to have a music player and I'm, we're going to put it down here at the bottom on screen one and it's going to be beneath the time. I mean, you can put it wherever you want. In a future video, we'll talk about other ways of getting these groups to show up. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and go to screen one and we can just work on building it right here. I'm happy with it right there. Now here's what I want to do before we actually make it. Uh, I've done a video on you know creating your own icon fonts. I recommend going and checking out the video. Um, go to check out the playlist, KLWP playlist. And if you search through these videos that I've done so far, it is uh, creating and adding icon fonts to KLWP. But um, here it is real quick. I'm gonna go to the Ico Moon app. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search and I'm going to type in one word. I'm going to type in play. So these are all free, by the way. So I'm going to type in P-L-A-Y. And let's see. Okay, check it out. So we have some icon fonts. This one I want. I want to play. I want to pause. I don't need to stop for what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. I'll use these to go back and forth between the next or between each song. You can do these if you'd like, but I'm only going to use these four. I need a play and a pause, and I need my next song, previous song. All right, so I got those four. I'm going to generate a font, and I'm just going to do. Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to do the play button as one. I'm going to do the pause button as two. I'm going to do the backwards button as three. Now, of course, you'll probably want more, but I'm just going to do, uh, this is going to be a nice one when we're done with it. So play is one, pause two, backwards is three, forward is four. Uh, do you want to name it and all that stuff? I talked about all that up here. I definitely don't want to name it that. Let's just call it basic music. All right, everything else should be good. Let me make sure it saved it. Yeah, I didn't know there was a save button. And let's go ahead and download it. So downloading that font. Now, in the previous video, I've done all this as well. But inside of this font, I'm going to unzip it. Go into my downloads. Here's basic music. I want to go to fonts. And I want to take that TTF file right there. That's the one that I want. Here's one, two, three, four. There's those uh, four pieces that we're going to be using. And I want to add this file to my cell phone. So I'm using SideSync by Samsung and browse my mobile device. 
I'm going to add this to my fonts folder in KLWP. Now, is it going to let me do it? I bet it's back here. Oh, there it is. All right, phone. Just go to your custom folder right there. Fonts. And here are my fonts. I'm going to drag it right on over and just drop it in here. And we should be good to go. So we called it basic music and you want to drag the TTF file. Okay, so we're done with creating our font. Now you can use pictures for your play buttons and stuff like that as well, but I don't want to. I want to use icon fonts because we can change the colors of those fonts and all that good stuff. Nonetheless, let's go back to our root folder and I'm going to create an overlap group because I am going to have some things overlapping. So let me go ahead and add overlap group. I'm going to name this music. All right, and let's go ahead and put our uh, play button, the play, the pause. I'm going to have those on the same button, actually. So opening up music, I'm going to add, let's do, all right, I want to do a stack group. So I'm going to go to plus. I'm going to do a stack group. And I want to put my, I'm going to do my forward and backwards. All right, I don't need this anymore. So let me make this a little bit bigger. Stack group. Let's add some text. And the two pieces of text that I want here are I want the previous song button and the next song button. So uh, underneath this text, I'm going to delete this. Now remember the previous button, I called it button three for my icon font. So there's a three up there. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. And now I need to change my font. And I called it basic music right there. Boom. See, there's that button. There's that icon font. All right. Let's back up. Let's copy and paste this. Now remember the next, for the next song, I used a four back on the Ico Moon app. So there's four. So there's the previous, there's the next. Now, since these are inside of a stack group, I want to layer this and I'm going to do horizontally centered. That way we put them right beside each other. And I tell you what, let me go to um, this button right here, this text, and I'm going to do some left padding to space them out a little bit. All right. So something like that. I want my play pause button to be right in the middle of that. But again, uh, now, would it have been a bad idea to put the put the play play button in here and have it, you know, stacking with those as well? Sure, why not? I tell you what, let me take this away. I'm gonna change it just like that on you, and uh, let me copy and paste, and let me do the play button. Now, here's what we're gonna do: some coding. We're gonna do some coding. I want the play button to turn into the pause button at certain at certain times. So here's my play button. First of all, I want that play button to be in between them. So let me drag that up there. That should swap them. If I drag it right, how about now? There we go. Play button's in between it. Do you want the play button a little bit bigger? Sure. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Horizontally centered, everything looks good. If you want some spacing in here, feel free to go do some right spacing on this, some left spacing or padding um, on those two pieces, but I'm fine with the way they look for right now. If you want to adjust the paint, sure you can do that. I'm gonna leave them white for right now. But here's what I want. Now, as of right now, this thing is gonna always show play, but here's what we want to do. We're gonna to have to do some coding, so I'm going to load up Microsoft Word, and I'm gonna type in my codes on Word and copy them over. Now, you got some music stuff down here. And let's see, scrolling down on our codes, music info. And we're going to do a whole bunch of these things, but we're going to take it piece by piece. So let's see. Here we go. All right. Right now, the music is stopped. But here's what we want to do. I'm going to say dollar sign if. Now, MI state, basically music, what is MI, what does the I stand for? Um, music info, okay, MI. So if music info, I'm over here on Microsoft Word, if MI state is equal to, let's suppose the music is um, playing. 
So if it's equal to playing, then we want to see the play button. Remember, the play button is this number one for my icon font. So if it's playing, I want to see a one. Otherwise, I want to see a two. That means if it's doing anything else, if it's uh now it's gonna be look kind of if you have, if you start doing fast forwarding buffering or whatever it's gonna affect this code a little bit it'll be showing a pause button while it's actually just uh, skipping forward a few seconds in the song but for me I'm a, I'm happy with just either seeing a play or a pause that's why I only have those two things but if the music is playing I want to see the play button which is oh time out this is not what I want to see. If the music is playing, I actually want to see the pause button. That way I'll know to pause it. And basically if it's not playing, I want to see the play button. And that might not make sense right now. And I about tricked myself up, but here's why we want to see that. So let me go ahead and put that code in, copy and paste it. Delete that. All right. So basically right now, if the music's playing, I should see the two. Remember the two was the pause. Um, if it's not playing, I should see the one. I should see the play button. And the reason why I want to see the play button is because if I press the play button, it's telling me, hey, you want to play. Now, if the music is playing, I want to see the pause button. That way I know I can pause it. If that doesn't make sense, you'll see why in a few seconds. So let me go ahead and check that. Right now we see the play button. And the reason why we see the play button is because the music's not playing. So if when we press play to play the music, it should then show the pause button showing us that we could actually pause the music now. I hope that makes sense. If not, we're going to see it in a few minutes anyway. All right, what else do we want to put inside of our little music player? So we're inside of music. We got our stack group with our buttons. Do you want to see the artist and stuff like that? Sure. Okay, so um, let me add another stack group. And inside of this stack group, we're going to add some text. Under this text, I'm going to go and delete this, and I'm just going to see the artist. So music info. All right, so the last thing I listened to was Coldplay. So Coldplay, um, that's going to be the artist. I'll tell you what, I, won't, I might want this to be a different size in the song title. So I got that. What font do we want it to be? I think I had a global font. I think it was called, let's just do letters. And now notice that this is behind the play button. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna put these things in some stack groups as well. So let's see here, uh, Bank Gothic. I'll tell you what, I wanna go ahead and put these two. I want this to be beneath uh, this right here. But before I do that, I'll go ahead and add let me copy and paste, and I want the song title to be beneath that. So I need to take away the artist, and I guess probably I can just, it's probably song or something like that. I don't even remember what the codes are. Uh, title, okay. So I can just type in title. All right, check. Now those two things are stacked, um, but it looks like they're layer let me go vertical center and let's just instead of us changing the font size of well we can go ahead and change the font sizes okay Coldplay maybe you want the group to be um, about 60 or whatever font size you want and the song title maybe just a little bit bigger but not bigger than the group Coldplay so obviously this here is not stacked right but what we can do, I can take these two, put them inside of another stack group. That way they'll never overlap each other. So let me cut and paste. Now again, I'm probably moving kind of faster with this, but I'm assuming you've watched the other videos. Now this does not look like it's centered correctly because now we have our buttons, which are in a horizontal stack group. We have our words, which are in a vertical stack group. Notice the words are vertically centered, but the words are not vertically centered with the buttons. So we need to layer vertical left is this whole thing but watch this if we change it to vertically centered bam so everything is centered looking good nothing's going to overlap now some things you might have to start to play around with if your group gets real long the the title or if the title of the song gets real long this is where you can start messing around with your text a little bit 
For example, okay, notice the title of this song, Always in My Head. If I change the type of font, fixed font height, if I go to fixed width, now if I adjust the width, it's going, no, notice it's automatically going to enter that word down if it's not inside of that red rectangle right there. So if I fix the width to right about there, if the title of the song gets any longer than this, it's automatically going to enter down and you're not going to lose any of the song title. But the problem here now is that this is over here to the left. So what we need to do is we need to align this text and we need to center that text. So now it's centered. If, if the song gets any longer than this, if it gets longer than this red rectangle, it'll enter it down and it'll still keep it centered. So I think that's pretty nice. You can go back and do the same thing for the artist if you'd like. And now what was the point of me doing an overlap group? I'll tell you what we're going to do here. Just for the sake of me, since I did an overlap group, I'm going to take and I'm going to add, so I'm inside of my music overlap group, I have a stack group that's full of other stack groups, but inside of this overlap group, I'm going to add a shape. And the shape I'm going to add is going to be a circle. All right, and let's make it nice and big. Right about there, I guess that'll be fine. Now, I'm just doing this for the sake of the overlap group. Clearly, this circle is overlapping everything else that's behind it. But here's, not, here's what I want to do with the circle. I want to see the album art. So basically, I'm going to go do this. I got my circle, uh, paint, don't bother with it, FX. This is what we want to do. We want to go to texture for that shape, and we want to go to bitmap. I think that's right. All right, bitmap pick image right here. Let's apply a code. So we don't want to pick it because obviously as we change diff from album to album, the album art should change. So we want to apply a formula for it to pick the image for. So I'm going to tap on the calculator and I'm going to scroll down to my music info. And where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? There it is. Current cover image. Bam. Tap on that, in my cover, check. All right, there's the album art for this uh, Coldplay CD. And now, back up. Let's see here. Okay, I want that to be behind the words. And now, as you can see, we're starting to get, you know, uh, somewhat of a look to it. It might be smart now to go back and adjust the, the text. Remember how I had the text coming way out here? If I get a long title, it will come outside of this shape. There's some coding you can do there, but I tell you what, for now, uh, if you don't like the way it looks once you start playing music and your titles start to change, go back in and tweak your text. Um, maybe set the, f the fit or fixed width to here to here. That way you'll never have any, uh, granted your song title is not too long, it, it'll come keep on coming down here, 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 but nonetheless, uh, hopefully you will find something that looks pretty good for your liking. Now from here, how do we actually apply the, the song, or how, how do we play the song? Well, we have to use the touch. So here's what we're going to do here. I'm going to go back into my music overlap group. I'm in my stack group, and I'm here at my buttons. Now the one button is the button that's going to play. So all we have to do is go and apply its touch. So we go to touch, we choose it, and we want to do music controls, and we want to play slash pause. Notice I used one button for play and pause. So this is going to show you exactly why I picked one button for play and pause. So got that. Let me go ahead and just save this for right now. And button three, this was previous, so let me go to touch for that. And again, I'm adjusting that left button, so music controls. And I want to do previous. All right, and I'm going to go back and apply the next to that one right there, this button right here. All right. Now, you see other things that you can do. You can do it. You can have a little button to open up your music player. You can adjust the volumes if you like. I just assume use the side of my cell phone, the volume keys on the cell phone. But uh, nonetheless, you know, we have a music player that's ready to roll right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save this. And let's go to our home screen. I'm going to move it back to where I need it in a second because right now it's hanging out on all my screens. We have to fix that with our animation. 
But uh, we should have some music now. If I press play, because now the music's not playing, so that's why I'm showing the play button. If I tap play, see that? And since it's playing, it's giving me the pause button, which is saying, hey, all right, you can pause the music, so let me pause it. See that? So it's paused. That way I know if I want to play, I can press the play button. <laughs> That's what I was talking about a while ago. And we can always, you know, fast forward a song. That's the first song. Go back a song. See that? And that's those touch features we just applied. So there you have it. It's a good song right there. But anyway. Alright, so I'm pausing it, going back into KLWP. And now let's fix some animation. So going back to the item, the overlap group we call music. And again, the main reason why this is an overlap group is because these buttons and these words are overlapping the cover art. That's the whole reason for me making an overlap group, even though I filled it up with a bunch of stat groups. All right, so now let's position this entire thing at the bottom. Notice it's kind of interfering with the time now. We'd have to go back and adjust that, or we could do this actually. For, for me not to have to do that, I like it better at the top, to be quite honest with you. Um, however, it's overlapping a little bit. Well, all we really have to do, if you like the way this looks, if we just change the scale of the whole thing and we knock it down, look, see, just like that, I've got it to where it's not overlapping my time. So I didn't have to make too many adjustments there. I think right there it looks pretty good. Let's animate this thing, though. And how do we want this thing to come in? I'll tell you what, let's do something kind of crazy or something a little bit different than what we've been doing. We're still going to do a background scroll. Let's have it not scroll in, though. Let's have it scale out. Is that going to know? Because now it's going to pop in there. So I want it to scale in. All right. And center, let's do only on the center. Let's choose screen one as the center screen. Let's see if that, nope, that's not right. That's not right. Maybe it was scale out. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I got it on scale out and it's going to do it when it reaches the center and the center I've set to screen one. Um, you can, again, this comes with tweaking. You know, that, that's why I do like the interface right here. It's kind of like what you see is what you get. We don't see the music here because I'm on screen three. I don't see anything here because I'm, I'm on screen two. But when I go to screen one, there's my music player. There's my time right beneath it. We could even start adding other pieces down there. But I, I do like the way that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to save it. And now the only thing about this, I don't think there's a way to change albums on or using KLWP. Um, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to open up my music app. So picking a diff different album, um, this is obviously not KOWP. Now you can make KOWP look like this. Um, guys and gals who are really good at KOWP with the um, making their own colors and putting little things like this. But nonetheless, this is a uh, power amp, but press and play. So now if I go back to my home screen, this is what I wanted to show you. The album art is changing. So it will automatically change on the fly, even though I used a different app to change the song. Sorry. Even though I used a different app to change the song or to change the album title or to change the album period, it's still going to update it in KLWP. And as you can see, you know, it's, it's still doing everything quite nice. And as you can see, we've gone a long ways from part one. Uh, we have a whole bunch of pieces in here. I still have RSS feeds that I'd like to cover with you. I already have one video up on RSS feeds. But there's going to be some things that I'm going to do slightly different. And also in a future video too, since we have so many pieces, I mean we got one, two, three, four, four pieces. Um, what I like, this is where it's starting to get a little bit more of what I like to do personally with KOWP. I like one screen setups. I like everything being on one screen. You may think that's going to be clustered, but there is a way and it's called, I still use the text global variable. I have two videos on the text global variable and I'm going to be covering that with you in here. I encourage you now at this point, 
I mean, you've learned a lot if you've been going through all of these and if you started from a beginner. So you could really just go ahead and start checking out my other videos on the text global variable, um, some animation buttons, things like that. But I'm going to be covering them with you too in the near future. But there you have it, an icon font or creating icon fonts for music. Something I didn't cover here is maybe you, know, you want to change the color of these things. You know, change the color of this when it's playing versus when it's paused. Maybe you don't like the fact that the, um, the album art is behind it. Maybe you want it to be up here. I think you have enough. Uh, I think we've covered enough in all these videos to where you can put this to where you want it and make it look nice and suit your taste. But there you have it. There's a music player for KLWP, and that is it for this video. I hope it helped.